What is the modulus of a number? The modulus of a number is nothing but its absolute value. We have learned that the absolute value gives us the distance of a number from zero without considering the direction in which the number lies. So in other words, the absolute value or the modulus of a number gives us the magnitude of a number. What sign can the magnitude of a number take? The magnitude of a number can be either positive or zero. It can never be negative. Yes, that's the reason why we say that the absolute value of a number is always non-negative. We will be applying this concept to understand the modulus function. The modulus of a function is written as f of x is equal to modulus of x. So the input for this function is any real value of x and the output will be the magnitude of x. Now let's say x is equal to 5. Can you tell me what the modulus of x would be equal to? Yes, that's correct. The modulus of x is also equal to 5. That's the magnitude of this number. Similarly, when x is equal to 0, the modulus of x is 0. In both cases, f of x is equal to x. So we say that f of x is equal to x when x is greater than or equal to 0. What if x takes a negative value? What will f of x be equal to in terms of x? Say x is equal to negative 7. What would the modulus of x be? Yes, it would be 7. So f of negative 7 will be equal to 7. Or we can say that f of x is equal to negative of negative 7. Why did we write it like this? It's because we had to find the relation in terms of the original number which is negative 7. With this, we can conclude that f of x is equal to negative x when x is less than 0. We found the relation in terms of the input. So the modulus function can be defined as f of x is equal to x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and f of x is negative x when x is less than 0. Now we will focus on drawing this function on the xy plane. We know that f of x can also be written as y. So we need to sketch the following. y is equal to x when x is greater than or equal to 0. So we sketch the line y is equal to x starting from 0. This is how the graph will look when x is greater than or equal to 0. Next, we sketch y is equal to negative x when x is less than 0. This is how it will look. So we get a V-shaped curve opening upwards with the vertex at the origin. We see that the line to the right side of the vertex has slope equal to 1 and the line to the left side of the vertex has the slope equal to negative 1. Also notice that all the y values are positive for the modulus function. What else did we notice? The curve is symmetric about the y-axis. What is the domain and range of this function? The domain of this function is r since any real value can be an input for this function. Now if you could tell me the range correctly, it means you've understood the concept really well. The range of this function is the upper half of the real number set including 0. This is how we write it. The opening square bracket tells us that 0 is included and the closing round bracket tells us that it can take values up to infinity. So this was all about the modulus function. We'll see another interesting function in the next video.